forget to feed your fish are you constantly rushing out the door leaving your fishes straving for the whole day no need to worry anymore in this project i make feeding them hassle free and works even better with pet dirts pellets i use a proximity sensor to to trade the food cartridges inside the feeder in addition a button and a led light is installed when the last rotation is made you, you can refill it with food once the button is pressed the program will automatically reset and the light will turn off this feeder easily sits above our tank with an optional fin to rest alongside the tank the this simple durable and customizable feeder will surely ma- make feeding your fish a breeze and is open to more advanced modification to whatever you, you desire supplies S- circuit re- re- supplies arduino rp 2040 connector 180 servo motor with pin connector button four alligators pin cables led bulb resistor adpd s 9960 proxy sensor stemma qt cable three pin pin cables usb c charging data cable circuit breadboard the other supplies fish feeder 3d stl file laser box 100 mm into 100 mm into 32 mm with rectangle hole on the top drill four command strips lock tile 414 glue electric tape scissors step 1 files for download Here are the th- 3D printer files, print files, and the code to run the feeder. It is written in Circuit Python, and the model is printed with a Prusa i3. Run MU editor and download final project PE file. Plug in Arduino board to computer, and save as copy dot py to circuit board. the f- fish feeder file is d- designed and built from scratch using tinker cad circuit assembly to plug in the cables to the appropriate board as d- described in the code file and connect the pins to 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 the right power and ground locations run the code to see if circuit runs correctly for moving on to the physical assembly motor assembly step 3 to 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 begin the assembly process the the motor blade should be glued in the center of the fan piece using the lock tile glue and reinforced with electrical tape to make sure the blade stays in place next attach the motor the blades pointing out and the motor perpendicular to blade since the servo rotates only 180 degrees finally cut a piece of command strip and remove one side to place on the top of motor step 4 box assembly laser cut the box dimension listed in the supply section and glue only three sides of three of the side in with the cut out rectangle on top as pictured 
if the base does not fit in the box feel free to sand down the slides to allow a nice tight fit attach the other side of command strip to the top plate so the motor piece sits in center drill a hole on the side to allow the wires to pass through easily glue the back sides back or sides of the base inside the box make sure that that the motor pieces sits on the top uh, on the bottom of the base step 5 final assembly it looks like that as you can see attach the remaining two command strips to the back of the breadboard place the board to, to your desired location i attached mine to the back of the box tape down the proxy sensor led bulb and button with electrical or duct tape ensure that all the wires connections are taped down tape any loose wires together with electrical tape to keep the organized or hook behind the breadboard to avoid dangling wires that's it now your motion uh, motion activator fish feeder is ready to go all you have to do is plug in the board using the usb c cable to a power outlet or rechargeable battery and your feeding and feeding your fish has never been easier step 6 the feeder in action Uh, by the way if you liked the video don't don't forget to subscribe and like the video and, and also press the bell icon to to get a notify for all my videos thank you